Sure. I don't think a lot of people know this information. If they did, it'd be very off-putting. <gasps> this is disgusting. What's up, brother? How are you going? We're doing debates on uh, why aren't you why aren't you vegan? Um, why am I not vegan? Because I need to be able to eat fish and salmon. That's why. Ah, uh, you need it for necessity. Yeah. Come tell me why. Tell, tell me why. Come on. Like I eat chicken. Yeah. But I don't buy chicken and all other animals. I don't eat it or buy so, it. Like, so where do you eat chicken from? Chicken, Some, someone else cooks it for you. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the only time I eat chicken. But the only meat I buy is fish. Okay. And do you think fish feel pain? Do you think fish suffer? I don't yeah. think they know it's happening to them. I think they. You don't feel think they it, know? But I don't think they know it's happening to them. Like. So is that is that good or bad? Do they, if they suffer and they don't understand what's happening to them, isn't that worse? Wouldn't that make you suffer more? Probably, but I need to be able to eat fish. I can't not eat fish. Well, you, you think you you die? To. You die? Yeah, I can't just eat vegetables. I what? mean, that's, nah, that's what? Mad thing. What do you think? I, I just eat vegetables. Do you think I just eat vegetables? So, do you eat meat? No. So, you see so what do you eat then? I eat vegan burgers, uh, burritos, and vegan pizza, and vegan cheese, and vegan ice cream, yeah, vegan whatever I want. Anything you eat, I can eat vegan. Yeah, Why did you not, become it's a not vegan? The same. No. I became a vegan because I didn't want to be a hypocrite. Uh, because I, I cared like for dogs and cats and yeah. animals like those. Yeah. But um, I had a piece of a cow on my plate and I felt like a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. uh, because I would never hurt an animal myself, but I was paying other people to do it. Yeah. And the animals didn't do anything wrong to me. Mm -hmm. And I had enemies that I would never treat the way animals are treated just so I could eat them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if I wouldn't do it to my worst enemy, why would I do it to these innocent animals, including fish? With me, it's the fact that I've grown up eating meat, so it's like, right now for me to stop just eating meat and just eat vegetables would be like, that'd be oh, crazy. It's, 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 it sounds crazy in your head. That'd be crazy. But, uh, I think like if I grew up like just on vegetables and I taught the, I was taught these things, Yeah. I think it would be different, but like. I was eating meat for 26 years. But I don't see it as, as like, oh, I'm gonna get bad me. karma if I, if I eat me because they're alive so do you believe in karma i don't yeah i do but why don't you think it applies to animals like what do you mean and even think about it if so he, he believes in karma humans was to stop eating meat yeah yeah the world will just be full of of, of animals running around like they'll keep reproducing and is that what do you eat meat to keep the numbers down no i don't i'm just saying okay I'm just saying that would happen no that would happen. no 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 i wouldn't because what happens in ecosystems is they find their natural balance. The chickens that you eat, they don't exist in nature. They're, they're, they're selectively bred human created uh, chickens. And, Are you serious? Uh, yeah, the chickens that people eat, they're, they're selectively bred to produce a bunch of flesh on their bones. They can't hold themselves up and they... I know like salmon and prawns is all I eat. Yeah, but... Salmon, salmon will never be bad. What do you know. think the salmon feels when they get hooked in the face and dragged out of the, I don't know. the water? The salmon is not a human. The salmon hasn't, hasn't got... The, like, it might have feelings, but it don't have feelings like a human and it's not... They don't have not, to. It's not the dominating predator. Are you a predator, really bro? Been, yeah, to, to, to animals that I'm eating, then I am. I am. Yeah, but do you ever kill the fish yourself? No, I don't, but... That's not a really predator of you though, bro. It is what it is. Yeah. And I'm saying, I don't eat like pork and stuff like that. You don't that. eat pigs? I don't eat pigs. I rarely eat chicken. What about cows? Do you eat cows? Eat rarely. Like, yeah. I would say no, because no, it's so rare. It. And what about it. like, uh, you don't eat lambs? And and, you don't eat lambs? No. Just fish and eggs? Yeah. You know about the egg industry? Do you know what happens to those hens? No. <coughs> I mean, like, I know, I know all companies in the world, they do something bad. Like, bad. I know that. I know that's a fact. Like, I, would, I don't want them to, but I'm not there. I can't stop them. I can't go to a farm and say, oh, do this this way. Da, 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 da. But you could, you you could say, I don't want to pay for it because it's against my values. Yeah. Like, I'm saying, like, in the egg industry. But we all die anyway. Humans die, everyone dies. The animal's gonna die. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're gonna die, but that doesn't mean sh we should torture them and kill them. I feel them. like if the animal had the same abilities as a human, yeah, it would be a different story. They do, they do have the same abilities, but not oh, the but same, if, if, but not equal, but they, they feel if, pain and they suffer and they don't want to die. But like, let's say a fish could kill a human and eat a human, like, and it was like, it wouldn't die if it ate the human and it would fill the fish up. The fish would probably do it. 
The fish yeah, would probably do. Yeah, but cows are bigger than us. They you don't eat us. Me. And just because, a, let's just say, an animal would Please, do bro. something doesn't mean that we should copy their behavior. I don't know. It is what it is. I eat fish. <laughs> yeah, I know. I eat fish and eggs, and I don't think I'll ever stop eating You don't think you'll ever stop? Fish. What if you, have you... Would you watch a movie then? A documentary I've on it? I've seen them. I've seen them. I've seen them. I've seen them. What, what, did you, what have you seen? Seaspiracy. You've seen Seaspiracy? Yeah, that was quite shocking. Did that make you want to not eat fish? It made me want to not eat fish, but like... Um, no, I really enjoy eating meat. I enjoy eating fish, but I also love eating like vegan food as well. No. So I'm not too bothered. I have gone vegan before, like for a month. A oh, really? Long, but I don't know if I make it a lifestyle. I probably have more of like a healthier diet. Why, why was it difficult? Um, because like, all right, I'll see you soon. Um, because. Do you want to sit down with me? Come on, don't be shy. Um, because I really enjoy eating meat and like like eggs for breakfast and stuff. So it was hard, but. I guess I just had like granola and like, um, do you know Oatly? Yeah. Like, um, it's like yogurt. Yeah. It was hard because that's just not something I'm used to, but okay. I do eat like vegan food because I'm from Uganda. So we have a lot of like, yeah. you know, vegan food. So I, I enjoyed it, but. What is a Ugandan staple? Isn't it cornmeal? Isn't it, um, or they have lots of like sweet potatoes or yeah. what do they have? We have like yams this, or? We have like this, um, <clears throat> Like banana called matoke, yeah. and then we have like beans. Like, it's good. It's, it is really nice. There's food. a lot of like plant based yeah. food. In Uganda. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah, there's a lot of plant based stuff. And, like, if you, um, if you're from the village and you can't afford meat, then you're going to be having vegan food anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So. Okay. So why did you why did you try to go vegan? I was doing it for spiritual reasons, and you know what the crazy thing is? When I did it, I felt a lot better. Um, I had, a, I had more energy. It was just hard to maintain. It's not exactly cheap either. I can't lie to you. Like trying to get good vegan food, it's not cheap. Okay. So. It wasn't cheap when you tried to do it. Yeah. When, when did you try to do this? January. This January? Yeah. That's interesting. So you did it for spiritual reasons. Do you think there's uh, some negative energy attached to eating the bodies of animals that have died in slaughterhouses? And no, I'm just doing it for reasons because obviously I'm Christian, so we're supposed to like fast. We're supposed to like give up certain food and stuff. So when we have to do that, like it's a sacrifice, but it's not easy, but you get like, you reap the benefits. But a lot of the stuff like that's like God has made, is better for you compared to all like the unhealthy food, like all like the meat and stuff like, yeah, but you know, the animals that people eat, if you believe in the creator, mm. are not created by God. What do you like, mean by that? The animals that people predominantly eat are human created. Like, please give me so, an example. So that there was originally like wild animals yeah. and humans um, enslaved them, dominated them, and then started to selectively breed them <gasps> with each other to produce whatever product outcome they, they wanted from them. So like for hens, they would selectively breed them to produce more eggs uh, for chickens, in the meat industry, they selectively bred them with other chickens to become like Frankenstein chickens to produce all of this meat really, really quickly. And they feed them with antibiotics to make them grow quicker. In the dairy industry, they are selectively bred to produce more milk. So they breed so that if they get good uh, milk producers, they just keep breeding them together to, over, the, over generations until they're like really, really productive. So like these animals are just human selected um, over time mm. to be meat machines or milk machines or egg machines, you know? Mm -hmm. What about, um, you know, the people in like third world countries that only have like, let's say like animals around them, like should they just go vegan if they don't have anything yeah, else I mean, to eat? So I, I don't feel comfortable with someone in a survival situation telling them to starve, which is why I do my debates here in the UK actually with people, because uh, I know people in the UK, they do have a choice, you know? If someone was in a survival situation, they didn't have a choice and they killed and ate a fish, it's a different situation, actually. Yeah. It's much different. So should that person go vegan? Well, I don't think they, they have the choice, the, yeah. the choice to, so. I have a question for you. Yeah. Why is it you feel like people wouldn't want to be vegan? Is it the sacrifice or do you feel like the vegan community are positive with spreading their message? The messenger matters a bit, but people will say, uh, well, I would go vegan, but that, that person was rude to me or they're not, not positive or their mm -hmm. movement's not positive. Um, I think that that's usually an excuse <laughs> because they don't actually want to because mm. they're, they they habitually eat meat. Yeah. They like, they prefer the taste yeah. and, and it's inconvenient for them to change. Yeah. The animal's lives and suffering does not, on the scale, weigh enough for them to change their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. And, they, and then what happens is they they begin to look for ways out of it and excuses out of it. That's mm -hmm. what I see most commonly. It's hard to explain like what goes on in to animals 
in a positive way. There is, yeah, yeah. It's like explaining the worst suffering and violence that happens on Earth on the mass scale. So there's no industry. There's there's been no tragedy that has caused as many deaths as meat, dairy, and egg industries. There's just no, nothing. Are comes you close. sure? So yeah, let me just give you the numbers. So eighty at this point, eighty billion land animals each year and between one and three trillion marine animals. What? Each year. I think it's around in around four weeks. Yeah. We kill more non-human animals than the amount of human beings that have ever existed in history. There is nothing on earth that could, even if you, you can make the argument that a human suffers much more than a chicken. Mm -hmm. A human suffers much more than a fish because we have a deeper experience, right? Mm -hmm. Even if you were to, to use that like logic, the amount of animals that are being killed is so great, so vast, that the animals would have multiplied that suffering like mm -hmm. A long time ago it's just nothing we don't do anything else that causes this much suffering and killing i can't believe that that's crazy but i think it's good to educate people though yeah, about yeah. these things yeah you see with the food industry like you know how they'll have the packets and they'll have like the labels of chemicals and stuff and they won't actually put everything else on yeah, there yeah. um even with like vegan food what's stated all the chemicals is it actually good for you because that's like my little mm. hindrance because if i don't know what i'm actually eating do you get what i'm saying that's I get what you're saying. So, um, would you saying. not recommend just being a raw vegan? No. Why, no, why is I that? Would, I would say I would say a lot of raw food is really good, and mm. it makes you feel really good, and it's full of fiber and nutrients and yeah. phytochemicals, and really good to, to be a lot of raw. Yeah. I just don't think it's uh, doable. You think like, so? so? Like, if I want to get a raw meal right now, yeah. I have to go to Tesco, get some uh, berries and that, get some uh, bananas. But right now, if I want a like tofu noodle soup, I can go there. If I want a burger, I can go there. If yeah. I'm Mark Spencer, I'm going to get a sandwich. That's but if you true. if you restrict yourself mm. as a vegan, then you're going to go back to I need a burger and go back to eating animals. Eat whatever you want as a vegan, as long as you're not eating, you know, the animals and the animal products. So if you want a burger, if you want a, a vegan chocolate, if you want ice cream, good. But I, th I still think you should look after yourself with lots of fruits and vegetables. Hundred percent. But you were saying like, what's in like a vegan burger kind of thing? No, like, do you, like, do you know what's in there? How do you know it's healthy kind of thing? Yeah, because like you know, like, like I said, the packaging they'll be like, oh, this and this and this stuff is in it, but they're not going to hundred percent tell you what's on there. So how do I know they're not doing like the same with vegan food? Yeah, true. When you eat fish, right? Let me yeah. just to, to give you an example here in the animal products. Okay, so when you're eating fish, mm -hmm. you're not just eating the fish, mm -hmm. like you're eating everything that fish ate 100%. in their environment. So, yeah. so there's something called bioaccumulation. So, oh, like yeah, when I know a small, that. you know mm -hmm. about it? Yeah, 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 I learned it in school. So yeah, the big fish eats a little fish, mm -hmm. and then all that mercury. Yeah. The is it PCBs? Mm -hmm. I don't know the chemicals. We'll put them up here somewhere. Yeah. But they all accumulate in that fish over time. 100%. The, the, the human comes and eats that fish, and they accumulate in you. Mm -hmm. And the same is true of the land animals, so the chickens and the pigs mm. and, the, and the cows, because they're eating the pesticide-laden, you know, uh, plants, and that yeah. accumulates in them. You're better off eating pesticide plants yourself because you're only going to eat that that one portion. Mm -hmm. But the animals are eating it over their life, and it's accumulating in their body with the antibiotics and things oh, like really? this. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. So you don't you know you don't see that on a meat package. No, of course not. Yeah, but um, with with vegan food, processed vegan food is not healthy for you. What is processed vegan for, like, like chips? Yeah, well, like, no, chips, uh, potatoes fried in oil, they're pretty, that's not too bad. But, like, you know, if you're getting, like, uh, Burger King vegan nuggets, for example. Oh, oh okay, no, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just, I get I'll eat them, yeah. but I know they're not healthy. Of course not, it's just Burger but King, I eat them because I want something greasy and salty, and I want it now, mm. you know? That's why I eat. I, I go and get a vegan burger because I want a vegan burger. I don't yeah. go, oh, I'm trying to be healthy, I'm going to go get a vegan burger, it better be healthy. No, I eat a burger for pleasure. Exactly. Right? I just don't think my pleasure is enough to justify animals being butchered and killed. And for my health, I'll go for the whole food plants. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like with no packet on there, no packaging ah. on there. So it's just like, oh, they're strawberries. Yeah. Or, oh, they're, that's beans. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And how long have you been spreading this message for? For nearly nine years. Nine years? Or around yeah. the country or have you... So when as soon as I went vegan, I started telling everyone about it. Mm. So I was like, uh, at first it was health. But then I started, to, uh, I've seen a, a great activist called Gary Yurofsky. Mm -hmm. He's a fantastic animal rights activist. And he's talking about all the things that happen to animals and the injustice of it. You know, and, you know, it, it was the injustice of it that really got to me. Because they're, they're voiceless. They, you know, they, they do have, like, they do make sounds, but they can't speak for themselves in society. Mm. You know what I mean? Human beings can form coalitions and have other humans defend them. Yeah. But who's going to defend the chickens from us? The chickens can't. They, they got no one. But like, wouldn't you say like an argument is like, just a chicken, like they're not gonna live long anyway. Obviously mm. like that's a very, you know, kind of wicked thing to say, 
yeah. I don't really agree with it, but like I do feel like a lot of people would just say that. I know. Do you get what I mean? And people do do that with with the lives of chickens. They say, oh, it's only a bird. Chicken, like who yeah, cares? But you know, and I like nuggets. But to that chicken, yeah. Because when you look at it from human perspective, you will go, ah. Oh, from my perspective, that's just a chicken. Mm. But what I ask people to do is like flip it and look at it from the the chicken's perspective. Like that's that's the only existence they they have. And they didn't even ask to exist. Yeah. They, 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 didn't, they didn't ask to exist. They were forced into existence, into a factory farm, and then they're forced into a slaughterhouse to die. I don't even know the full industry. I can't lie to you. Like, I think I've seen a few videos, but I don't know like the extent of like what is going down. You okay. know? Do you know? Yeah. yeah. Would you like to explain? My words can explain it. Yeah. But um, foot, actually, video footage explains it much better. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... I mean, I can show you a little bit of video footage if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I'm going to just flick through for you so you mm -hmm. get an idea. Because this goes for 40 minutes. Oh, yeah. He's talking about the propaganda, the like green grass, and this is what people see. Yeah. You know, you see commercials, green grass, and happy yeah. animals, and then mm -hmm. they'll show you it on the plate. Yeah. They don't show you the in-between part. These are called farrowing crates. And uh, this is where they give birth to their young. And they stay in these cages for up to five weeks. Five weeks? But there'll be, this is where they bite the cages and they go insane in here. It's just so it's while they while they're weaning their young. And these are mothers. See the piglets get stuck under here. Oh my goodness. This yeah. is so sad. These are, these are dead piles. Are, just, are, we, are we supposed to eat them or not? No, no, they're, they're just discarded. Oh. They're left out the front. At the front? Just in the, at the front of the farm or at the back of the farm. This isn't even hygienic. You'll see this very often inside. <gasps> It's a baby. Yeah. It's very common. I've been in these farms too. How did you find them? They are everywhere. You just look you look on Google Earth and you can see big long sheds with uh, feeders in them and they're, they're either pig, pig sheds, chicken sheds or turkey sheds. They're everywhere in the UK. Look at this sadness in her eyes. It's actually heartbreaking. The, the antibiotics they feed to them, you know, because they have to feed them antibiotics so they get so sick in there. Wait. Why do you have to? Oh, oh, because of how small they get them, it is. They get, yeah. them, they get sick because of the contained space and all the disease in there, and um, feces everywhere. These, the, well, see these slats? They let the feces drop in. Yeah. But that's pigs, and they clip their tails, snip their tails off without <gasps> anaesthetic, and clip their teeth down, and they thump the piglets on the ground on the concrete to kill them or hit them with a bar. But I don't know if I can watch. This is too barbaric. Yeah. They thump them to kill them because um. They might not grow fast enough or they might be sick, but it's actually Red Tractor approved this as a euthanasia method. I want to show you this. Are they, wait, is they're that They're eating pig? a dead pig. The pigs are eating themselves. This pig has died and they're eating, it's called cannibalism. It happens in factory farms all the time. This is disgusting. This is a gas chamber. Gas chamber? Oh, so it's like they're being sprayed with gas. They're being suffocated. Yeah, they're going into a dungeon filled with gas. CO2 gas. This method of slaughter is used for UK supermarkets. Yeah. Supermarkets? Yeah. 86% of pigs in uh, England and Wales are killed in gas chambers. No, this is wicked. Um, but that's pigs. Dairy industries. Yeah, let's have a look at the dairy industry. So they force her into pregnancy. Force? Yeah, they stick it. It's, it's, it's actually quite perverted what they do. They ejaculate a ball, uh, a ball to get the semen out of him. They sometimes use a big electro ejaculator. It's like a big dildo thing and it forces the ball to ejaculate and they take his semen and then they get the female and they stick their entire arm in her anus to hold her cervix. And then they get the ball semen with a little pipette and they stick it into her vagina to inseminate her. And she has a nine month pregnancy. So this is him doing it. Are they constantly pregnant? So, so this is him doing the insemination thing. That He's inside of her anus. It's incredibly uncomfortable for them. And uh, so she'll have a nine month pregnancy and then she give birth, right? Yeah. And then she's producing milk. Oh, yeah. Because otherwise, how's she going to produce milk? She's got to have a baby, doesn't she? Yeah. Kim. Is that the baby? Yeah. They take him away. Why? They separate him so they don't drink the milk. The farmers will say it's for their own good in case the, cu the cow tramples the calf. What? But, but it's, it's the a life. mother and the baby. Yeah. They take him away. <gasps> and this is standard practice. Standard? Standard. Across the board. They always take him away from their mum and they... There's a study they did on cows and they have a the emotion, they feel an emotional pain that's yeah. similar to like a physical pain. So they, they both experience trauma, the cow and, the, and, the, and their, ba their baby, because they're very maternal animals. That's and they, they keep the females in these hutches here. 
Are um, they going to see them again? No, they don't see their mums again. Maybe maybe a backyard farm here and there might, but not in the industrial dairy in industry. But I don't see why they have to separate them. Because they'll drink the milk. They've got to sell the product. So so if you want milk and cheese and yogurt, they can't let the calf drink that, that milk, can they? So where is, where's the calf going? The calf, so female calves will go on to, they either make up the dairy, the dairy herd, so they'll keep them in the hutches separate and then they'll grow them until yeah. they're of age to be inseminated themselves and they'll they'll become a mother really young and get their calf taken right and then they'll have that cycle happen to them as well and it happens about three or four t carvings they have their calf taken three or four times and then they get slaughtered for beef is that one it's pregnant a, it's a dairy cow oh no a lot of uh, dairy cows are slaughtered while still pregnant whilst pregnant they can be yeah i forgot the statistic we'll put it up here on the screen the statistic oh. but there's a lot and they cut the they cut the little feed us out of them and, as well in the slaughterhouse. That's a dairy industry. The male calves can be shot on the farm just- Shot? Sure. Because they don't produce milk, male calves. Are they not, are they not meat then? A lot of them are too scrawny. The so males? The male dairy breed calves can be shot on the farm on their first day of life, but that's being outlawed at the end of this year. Otherwise they get raised for veal or, or beef. Or what they can use is a specific type of semen from a beef cow and they'll impregnate that into the dairy cow so that she produces a beef cow. Mm. And then they get the milk out of her and then a, 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 a calf will be basically raised for beef and killed for burgers, so. It's like they're just like slaves. Yeah, they are slaves. And this is her, these are called hobbles. Yeah. They stop her from like splintering her legs open because she's just, they're just carrying this big udder around and they get like lame lameness. They get like oh injuries goodness. and, you know, they get abused all the time. Abused? Yeah. Why, why are they getting abused? They get abused because the farmers just, they get frustrated with them. They don't do what they want. But do you think like this industry, if there was good farmers, it'd be better or do you not think it would make a difference? I think it's better if the farmers are, are, are better, well, of course. I mean, than yeah. someone who's just constantly bashing them. Like you said, they're, they're like slaves, right? Mm. You prefer a slave didn't get whipped 12 times yeah. and, and only got whipped three times. But you know, I, I'd prefer they weren't enslaved at all. Yeah. And that's what that's what being vegan is. It's saying we don't want animals to be subjugated and treated as property at all. If, if we're gonna have animals, it's to care for them. It's to protect them like to they do. Them, and send, yeah. yeah, to love them and care for them and let them be themselves and not to take something from them. Cause we're only doing this, they're only doing this to the animals because people want to eat them, eat the cheese. They're, they're this meeting of demand and all these people out here, they're the, they're the demand. And the farmers are going, okay, we'll supply you. And this is what we're going to do to the animals for you on your behalf. You know, it's crazy. Like the things that we've just discussed, the video you just showed me, I don't think a lot of people know this information. No. Cause if they did know this, it'd be very off putting. Yeah. But that's why they market to people. That's why they spread the propaganda. That's why what you only propaganda? ever see. Propaganda. Propaganda is like marketing. It's like, yeah. um, you see the green grasses, the happy oh, animals, and then yeah. you see the meat. But yeah. you don't show, they don't show you this. Yeah, they can't. Because these are all customers to them. You know what I mean? So they have like Red Tractor and RSPCA Assured and all of these humane labels and free range and all this stuff. Do you agree with those? Um, no. Why don't you agree with the RSPCA or like PETA and all them ones? <coughs> why so the RSPCA are not, are not like PETA. PETA are a vegan organization. Ah. RSPCA are not a vegan organization. Yeah, so you can go into the supermarket and you can buy a meat that has an RSPCA label on it. Don't you think that's just a bit doesn't really make any sense. No. If they really cared about animals, they you wouldn't want that. to see them chopped up and eaten. But they'll say, oh, it's because our farming practices are better. Mm. But if you care about animals, you don't want them to be slaughtered either. You know what I mean? The majority about like the main topic out of all of this is money. Yeah. It is about money, because they're making so much money. Like, I know I've even spoken to people like, would you ever be, they've asked me, would you be vegan? Like, I've done it, but would I, would I do it long term? Probably not. But if I was to do it, I'd start cutting out red meat, then I'd start cutting out um, like chicken, then I'd start cutting out fish and I've like alternatives. It's just um, difficult. And I don't know if it's like student friendly being vegan. I don't think it's like a cheap um, decision. Be. How is it a cheap, how can it be a cheap decision? It can be cheap and you're right, this all happens because of money and it's the, the money that you give them. And then that's why, that, like we were talking about supply and demand before, but to be vegan on a budget is actually quite, Easy, actually, because mm -hmm. the cheapest foods in the supermarket by far are the, the bread, the grains, the, the, the beans, the, 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 the rice. Rice is the cheapest food per calorie on earth. 
really. So all of your whole foods, the healthy foods that are good for you, actually, mm. are the cheapest. Unless you're going to get some fancy berries and stuff. But, <laughs> yeah. But like whole grains, a whole rice, uh, all the, you, you start talking about Ugandan food. Mm. Like all of those to make the, the, the plant-based Ugandan food. That's all cheapest food in the supermarket. When you talk about like, okay, I'm going to go get a, a fancy pre-made um, vegan sandwich from M&S. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be like four, four quid or something. Yeah. But for four quid, you could do like a quarter of a, sh of a week shopping. You can get oats and you can get frozen berries and you can get pasta and you can get pasta sauce and you can get lentils to put in a pasta sauce. You can get um, this stuff called TVP, which is text textured vegetable protein, and you can rehydrate it and it's like mince. So there's ways of doing vegan super cheap. It's actually, when you go into get a lamb, people go in and buy a lamb chop or whatever, that's expensive food. I'm really thinking <clears> about what you just said. Like I didn't realize you could do it on a budget. I've got a YouTube video called Vegan on a Budget. <laughs> yeah. Like extreme budget or something. Yeah. I went into Tesco with like 20 quid or something. I come back and I cooked like a week's worth of food. Because you get lentils, right? Mm. Like red lentils and you can make a big curry out of it. Yeah. With like potatoes and, and you know, and it's super healthy. Yeah. Full of iron and fibre. Yeah. And then you get like a little bit of vegan like cheese or whatever. Like, you know, you oh. get a little bit of this like vegan Ve ice cream, vegan this. Vegan cheese is not like, I'm sorry, <clears throat> that's the one thing I can't. I don't like vegan cheese is really disgusting, mm. but the like, d d vegan like dairy, ice cream, all that sort of stuff is nice. But the cheese, I'm still not happy with it. Have you tried applewood? Applewood, no. Try that applewood smoked cheddar. Apple smoked. See, that sounds nice, but I don't want to be deceived. I, I, I look around for the ones I like because I've been vegan for so long, and I just won't eat. I won't eat anything that comes from an animal. Like I just yeah. I print, out of my principles, I won't do it. Like of I won't. Not. I won't um, deliberately harm you know, a child, a human, a cat, a dog, if I know, know that someone's going to be harmed mm -hmm. deliberately because of it, mm -hmm. um, I won't eat it. This here is, um, this will help you. What's your YouTube channel? It's called Joey Carbstrong. Is it on here? That's me here. Yeah. Joey Carbstrong. And your video's on there. I made this documentary here. And mm -hmm. this is this is the one that showed you Land of Hope and Glory. Yeah. And here's some little food swaps. Tofu, mm. right? If you oh, like tofu. eggs, tofu if you love banging, eggs, yeah. if you scramble it mm. in the morning, you scramble tofu and you get, uh, it's called black salt, kalam namak or something like this, but it's got an eggy taste and you sprinkle it on the tofu Yeah. and uh, it tastes like eggs. And this here is the best app, Happy Cow. Happy Cow. To find vegan restaurants wherever you are. And you can always get a vegan option from any of these places, but I'll let you go. What's your name? My name is Ida. Ida. And you? Joey. Joey, nice to meet you. It was really nice having a discussion with you. I really love talking to you. Thank you. You're just amazing, and I'm sure everyone's got to love you. Thank you. It's good talking to you. Good talking to you. See ya.